Wilfred, please come sit down. I've heard the news. What am I to do now? Several of the Masons feel that the trouble has arisen through the use of too much mortar. The settling has caused the walls to crack and spread. Yes. Bishop Gardner warned me. They suggest that we have every stone in the entire temple, even the foundation, cut to precise measurements and then laid securely stone upon stone. Apparently, this will prevent any further cracking or settling. President, I fear it will be necessary to tear out the entire foundation and begin all over again. What more can there be? Nine years we have struggled to build this temple. We have suffered humiliating poverty and persecution. Our brethren have blistered in the summer sun, scalded in their own sweat. They've shuddered and soaked through torrential thunderstorms with lightning dancing all about them. They've frozen our fingers and toes in winter's blasts. We have stood against the gaping jaws of hell itself. Yet there are nights that I lie awake for fear that I will never live to see this temple dedicated. I expect this temple to stand through the millennium, Wilfred, so the saints of future generations may go in and receive their endowments. You are right, my friend. We will take up the foundation and begin again. From that day forth, Truman Angel was responsible for specifying each stone in its position in the temple. And this pattern was followed throughout the rest of its construction. The women joined in the effort, supplying work clothes for the men and helping in whatever way they could. The temple progressed at a slow pace as the months evolved into years. It took 40 years to build. Well, the difficulty in hauling the granite box to the temple was still the greatest hindrance to the work. Morning. President, you remember my assistant, Michael Hawks? Why, of course, Brother Hawks. Pleasure to see you again. I'm uh, sorry to intrude. I, I didn't oh, know it's you. Fine, Michael. Fine. In fact, have a seat. I think you might be interested in our discussion. We need to make the necessary preparations to close down work at the quarry for a time. Close us down. I know we're short on men right now, and the weather hasn't been exactly helpful either. No, 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 Michael. It's nothing like that. You're working miracles up here. We speak of another priority. Brother Brigham needs all the men this territory can spare to work on completing the railroad. The railroad? You're going to halt work on the temple to supply the Union Pacific with men? Mind yourself, Michael. We are not going to halt work on the temple, young man. In fact, we will be advancing it. You see, I believe that in order to complete the temple, we must first expend every possible effort to complete the railroad. Forgive me, President, but I don't see how putting our men to work on the railroad... Once the transcontinental railroad is completed, we can readily build extensions down into Salt Lake City and beyond. Not only will we be able to access supplies from the east, 
But we should be able to complete a line that would include the quarry itself. Perhaps run a spur straight to Temple Block. Could be able to haul granite directly to the temple by rail. Even so, I think the men will find this a strange request. Understand, Michael. This is not a request. She has to. The charge we placed on the other side looks like she didn't blow. Ah, well, she's probably soaking wet by now. Right then, I'm going up there. We need to set off another charge. I want you men to keep cover till she blows. And where would you be going? You're getting to be an old man. Thought you might like some company up there. But I won't be needing company like this. There's enough black powder in here to blow us all to kingdom come. I'll take the pack. Nay, that's old man's work. Right then, let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 